you've decided to become a project manager or would like to learn more about the field of project management, you've come to the right place. Through a series of video lectures, webk.com will walk you through all aspects of project management. This lecture introduces you to the basics of project management, where we define what a project is, what a project is not, what project management is, and what you need to know about project management to become a successful project manager. So, what is a project? Rehashing Project Management Institute's definition, a project is any temporary work performed to produce a unique product or service. Also, each project has a start and end date. Remember, the key ingredients for work to be considered a project is that it needs to be temporary in nature with the start and end date and it needs to produce a unique product or service. Let us look at three examples of projects. Remodeling a house can be a project. When you plan to remodel your house, you know when you'd like to start. You also know when you'd want it to end perhaps before the 21st of November. Work done to remodel your house is temporary. It happens between the start and end dates of your remodeling project, unlike work done to maintain your house, which is ongoing. When you are done remodeling, what you have is unique. Sure, you may have copied designs from magazines or used easy to assemble kits, but what you end up with is unique to just your house. Let's take a look at another example of a project. When you set out to create a YouTube video, you have a date in mind when you want to start working on it. You have a script ready, you choose your camera, you choose the location, and you start work on your video. You also know when you'd like to complete it by. Even if you don't have a specific end date in mind, you do know that someday it will be completed and uploaded. The work you put into making the video is a one-time effort. You may make other videos, but for this particular video, the work you put into is temporary. What you end up with is a unique video that no one else has created. Let's look at a final example. This time, we look at an example of a project that produces a unique service. A seminar has a definite start and end date. You start when you come up with the idea of a seminar and you start preparing for it. And it ends with the delivery of the seminar. The work you put into it is temporary and what you get at the end is a unique seminar that has never been delivered before. You may decide to deliver more of the same seminar at different times or venues, but they are not projects. They become ongoing operations now. We've learned that projects are temporary in nature, in that they have a start and end date, and they produce something unique, either a unique product or a unique service. Now that we've seen what constitutes a project, Let's see what a project is not. Any work that is ongoing and repetitive, or which is not temporary, has no well-defined end date, or does not produce anything unique, is not a project. Let us look at some examples. Exercising daily is not a project. It is an ongoing endeavor with no specific end date. Also, when you exercise, you do not produce anything unique. You stay healthy. Routine car maintenance is also not a project. There is no specific end date for when you'll stop maintaining your car. Also, maintaining your car does not produce anything unique. It keeps your car running smoothly. Remodeling your car is a project, but maintaining it is not. As a final example, we look at processing orders. This is again an ongoing task. There is no specific end date to it. You process as many orders as your company gets. 
Also, processing orders does not produce anything unique. Now that we've had a good understanding of what constitutes a project and what doesn't, let's move on to defining project management. In simple terms, it's everything you need to manage a project from start to finish. According to the Project Management Institute, project management is the application of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques to project activities to meet project requirements. We will be looking at all of these in more detail in other video lectures from webk.com. According to Project Management Institute's body of knowledge, there are five project management process groups. These are initiate, processes that occur when a project is started, plan, processes that occur during the planning of the project, execute, processes that occur when work on creating the unique product or service begins, control, processes to ensure that the work being done is according to the plan, close, processes to ensure that the project is successfully brought to a completion. Project Management Institute also breaks out the project management knowledge into nine areas. They are scope, deals with managing the scope of the work that needs to be done to create the unique product or service. Time deals with creating and managing the timelines associated with the project work. Cost deals with creating and managing the financial aspects of the project work. Quality deals with managing the quality of the work to ensure a quality product or service. Resources deals with properly allocating and scheduling human resources assigned to the project. Communications deals with managing all aspects of communications with whoever is interested in and affected by the outcome of the project. Risks deals with mitigating and managing the risks that arise in a project. Procurement deals with managing vendors and other third-party agents directly involved with the project. Integration deals with bringing all the knowledge areas together to create a comprehensive project plan. Let us look at some of the skills you need to have to be a good project manager. Of course, at the very least, you will need to know the fundamentals of project management. The series of video lectures from webk.com will ensure that you gain that knowledge in the fastest possible time. You need to have a general understanding of how organizations work, and specifically how the organization you are working for conducts its business. Also important is to know how the projects you work on contribute to the success of your organization. Knowledge of the technology and tools you and your project team will be working with is essential for you to be a successful project manager. Technology skills are also known as domain knowledge. If you are in the field of developing software, for example, a knowledge of how software is built, tested, and deployed will help you go a long way in not only gaining the respect of your project team, but also in making good decisions for your project. Being a good project manager is also about keeping everyone involved in the loop. The ability to clearly communicate to people at a level that they understand is the important skill you need as a project manager. Statistical surveys show that 90% of the time you spend as a project manager is spent communicating. As a leader of the project, you are ultimately responsible for the success or failure of the project. Leadership skills are essential to command the respect of your project team and also to lead them through various challenges 
that usually occur during the execution of any project. With that, we come to the end of our introduction. You should now be able to tell a project from ongoing operations and also be able to define project management. You should know the five process groups of project management, the nine knowledge areas, and five essential project manager skills. Look for other lectures from webk.com to continue your education in the area of project management. Thank you.